It's not the first time a Green Party nominee, Jill Stein, has run for US president. In 2016, Stein got just over 1% of the votes. Many Democrats believe those votes cost Hillary Clinton the presidency. In Michigan, for example, Donald Trump beat Hillary Clinton by less than 11,000 votes, while Stein received over 51,000 votes. Some experts say it's not clear that all the votes for Stein would have gone to Clinton. I just don't think it's, it's as easy just to say, oh, well, that person is just stealing votes. Uh, you, don't, you don't know what, that, what a voter's behavior would be if they were actually forced into a choice, into a two-way choice. A similar situation arose in 2000, when Green Party candidate Ralph Nader won nearly 100,000 votes in Florida and George W. Bush defeated Al Gore by just 537 votes. The problem with this whole formula is when you have a highly contested election uh, that's being, to some extent, bitterly fought out, uh, you assume that uh, people's second choice would really matter. And I think, I personally think that whole model is wrong. People who choose to vote for third party candidates are doing for independent reasons of their own. So for what, whatever that reason might be, they're so highly disillusioned with or, you know, exasper exasperated by the existing parties that in effect they're creating a protest vote. Yet Democrats are again voicing concern that Stein could be a spoiler during these elections in some cases accusing her of working to undermine Harris. When VOA reached out to Stein's campaign, co-press director Sam Feifel responded by saying that attacking a third-party candidate, quote, is not just an attack on democracy, but a form of voter suppression to intimidate people into not voting for what they want, or even not voting at all. But in battleground states like Michigan, which has the highest concentration of Muslims in the US, the Green Party may have more influence. That's because many Muslims troubled by the humanitarian crisis in Gaza are angry over the Biden White House support of Israel. According to a report released last month by the Council on American-Islamic Relations, 40% of Muslims in Michigan said they plan to vote for Stein, while 12% said they'll vote for Harris. She'll take more votes from Kamala Harris, and Democrats in close key states have not been as successful at keeping her off the ballot. Uh, and so if we are looking at the, the race coming down to a few close states, she has the possibility of affecting the close, close states on election night. The same report also showed more Muslims plan to vote for Stein over Harris in Wisconsin and Arizona. Battleground states where Joe Biden narrowly defeated Donald Trump in 2020. In an election year where the winner is too close to call, Green Party votes could make a difference. Maxim Adams, VOA News, Washington.